What is going on everyone? Hope you guys are having an amazing day. My name is Paul Brown and this is Make Life Fit. I'm excited because today will be the first time that I do an unboxing style video. So hopefully this goes well. Um, but quick story update. Um, I was in the regular grocery store and you know, mind my business, doing what I do is grabbing some water. <laughs> and it's funny, so I'm grabbing the water and I see this lady that was in one of the uh, the carts, you know, electronic carts. She was uh, gave me like gave me eye contact, like almost like a like yo. When you get done with your water, like help me out. And uh, I'm not big on suggestive looks or just suggestive mannerisms. Um, you know, if you want to, me to do something, then just talk to me, right? So anyway, I threw the uh, the water into the cart. And I was going back for my second case of water, and uh, the lady said, "Excuse me, you know, can you help me?" I was like, "Yeah, sure, not a problem." So walked over to her and she said, could you grab, uh, you know, that six pack of, of water up there it was kind of on the top. And she was, as I said, she was in a cart, so she didn't want to, uh, you know, get up. I was like, yeah, sure. Not a problem. <laughs> so grabbed the water and then, uh, you know, put it in the cart. And um, she was like, thank you. She was like, yeah, because I couldn't get it. You know, it's a little bit heavy for me, you know. So should have been it, right? So then I'm pulling my cart to go past her and she side eyes my water and it then proceeds to chastise me for getting purified water versus spring water <laughs> and i'm like didn't i just help you three seconds ago but she was like yeah i, I wouldn't get uh, purified water she was like uh, that comes from the uh the spigot <laughs> but uh i just thought it was funny that you can get help and receive help from someone and then right after that chastise them for the decisions that they make um it, just, it was a funny situation and um you know, I could have went into detail as to, you know, does does she even know where her water comes from? Or did she see that get bottled from a spring? All those different things. But, you know, that's her belief system. So I decided to just politely smile and kind of walk away. But uh, her decision <laughs> was funny to be like, hey, let me ask for help, but then tell him why he's wrong for doing the things that he's done. So this was a lesson. I could have let that, you know dwell i could have dwelled on that but i didn't and i didn't let that change my day at the end of the day i chose to help somebody when uh, i didn't need to she got the help that she needed and then uh i went on throughout my day but uh so on to this boxing uh, video about to pull this box out now and see what i got Alright guys, so what we got here is a Predator generator, 4375 watts, and it is 3500 running watts. And the biggest thing there is when you start an appliance, any appliance, you're going to require more wattage up front anyway, but it's not going to require that much wattage to run. That's why the max starting watt in the running watt is different. You can see that right there. Got a lot of good reviews on it, um, and also got a wheel kit with it. It was like an extra $56, but I think it'll be easier for transport, so it makes sense. Um, the reason why I got this is because the last major storm I had um, left me without power for like five days, and I do not want to experience that anymore, and uh, it also left me with a tree in the pool. And it's funny because... Oh, you can't hear them anymore, but they're working on their roof from the storm. And we're still trying to get our stuff patched up. So everything's still not even done from that last one that we have. So I do not want to be without power anymore. And this is the reason for purchasing this generator right here. All right, not. So one of the reasons I got this again so soon, I didn't want that to happen again. Now, the reason why I'm unboxing it right now is because uh, there's going to be a storm later on tonight into tomorrow, and I don't want to be caught out there without having a generator. <laughs> I'll be scrambling in the nighttime. Let's get this done.
So this is how it comes in all its glory, fresh out the box. Not a lot of things I gotta read. We have to do this pre-check to get it all started. It comes pretty much assembled. It doesn't come with any oil or anything. The thing that I got, uh, when we got the lawnmower, it came with its own oil. This doesn't look like it does. That's all right though. So this is the little quick start guide. For use, you gotta ground it, add your fluids. And then it shows you how to choke start it and get everything going. It also comes with this, looks like a tool. It's like a screwdriver. I don't know what that is yet, maybe a ground. And some other type of uh, wrench it looks like. And of course it comes with the actual manual. And then it looks like some fuses. So that's that. All right, here goes the manual. So that little piece that, we, that I said was fuses, this is actually an altitude kit. So that's, you know, if you are in an area where you live in an altitude that is 6,000 to 8,000 above uh, sea level, then you would have to throw this kit into this, uh, into the main jet but uh we were at ground level we're in new jersey so don't gotta worry about that all right let's go over this real quick fresh out the boxes is what you have right here is your choke and this is the starting position so when you're about to start it from cold keep it in that position leave it there for about a couple of seconds and then switch it over to what is the run mode that's your choke there. Right here is your air box. This is your fuel. So it's in the off position straight up. We'll turn it into uh, on, which will be there when we're ready. There's nothing in there. That's how you start it. Pull it right there. That's pretty much it on that side. That's where you put your gas at, which we got to get. And ready to start, we'll throw this to the on position. This is your DC right here. And this is your uh, your breaker if uh, it trips. You got your two breaker resets here, and this is your ground, which will be happen to be a. Uh, we'll have to get a a wire for that guy, and then uh, I believe there's already a grounding rod outside. It comes with two or actually four GFI outlets. Those are the 120s, and then you can have one 240 volt, and that's for like your bigger stuff. For this house, we only have uh, a dryer that would go there if I ever did need it. But, you know, it's good to have. You never really know. Um, before I put the fluids in there to get those from the garage, I'm going to attach the wheels and the guard and then the handle to it. So this is the generator wheel kit. It actually comes with in two different styles. Well, not styles, but sizes, rather. This is the 8 inch so this is the bigger one it also comes in a six inch wheel which would just be a little bit smaller i feel like this would be easier to carry around or, or pull around with the eight inch so that's the one i i got kit is pretty simple it comes with a uh, two tires this is the pull handle all right and then it comes with two basically stoppers which would be right here up front. So I'm gonna save you guys this process, but it's kind of tedious. So the first thing I had to do is put this bolt on, uh, on this nut here, and that's a 17 millimeter. Then you have to grab something to hold this. So if you don't have the right tools, definitely get invest in some good tools. But this is very vague. It says put number four washer, the wheel, and then number two washer, along with the number one nut. When you go and flip, this is like the, the guide or the key, the legend. It doesn't, there's no indication on what size these bolts are. Here goes all the washers. So you really have to guess and just be, have an educated guess on, okay, which washer is that? Because none of them are identified as number four, or number two. So I'll save you this process. I'll hook all this stuff up, but it, that's just something I ran into as a problem. 
All right, progress update. We have the wheels are on and then the stoppers up front, so we should be pretty level. And then the last thing we got to throw on is the handle right here. But it's this little thing again, not complaining, but these instructions are not really uh, up to par. So I'm on this stage here, which will show you have four different screws in the upper right hand side and then comes with four nuts right there. So that should be number 14, right? So let's look over here. I'm at the last four bolts and I have two washers still that never came into play. Got these last four bolts. I'm looking for four extra washers because they need to go on the back end of this guy here. But actually it's hard to see, but these washers are already welded onto the back. So that means it came with this without even having this kit here. That's not really clear. So I had to do some looking around and then they're actually already connected. So that's something that should be labeled on the actual instructions, but it's not. So last complaint about that, we're almost done though. Got this handle, then we're out. All right, here goes the finished product. It goes the legs on. I got the stoppers up front and this is the arm I was talking about. It's in the locked down position right now. Throw that off, put that up. And you can lock this into place, which then allows you to wheel it around, which is super nice because this thing weighs, I don't even know how much it weighs, but it weighs a lot. So that's it. It is gassed up right now, and I also put oil in there. Gas can right here. It takes 10W30. I have these, um, these filters down here, or these guides. Really good to have. Um, this came in a three pack, three pack of funnel. And I needed both of them. I needed this blue one because of where the oil is located and I needed the yellow one to trickle down. It actually is low down here. So unless you have something that bends, it's kind of awkward to get to that. Thus me spilling this stuff. So I'm not going to ground it. I'm not going to really care about that. I just want to get it started to kind of get the, um, everything floating in there. I'm only going to start it for about five minutes. It's starting to rain right now. Like I said, it's going to storm and it's already starting. So I'm about to wait this out real quick and then uh, get it started over here. I believe this is grounded. This is what I was talking about earlier. I don't know how deep this is into the ground, but it is. It's pretty sturdy. So this could be a good ground. And it's made what they used it for. I'm not sure. It looks like a good ground to me and that's what I'm going to use. So it's going to be in this section over here. So I looked at the weight, at least according to FedEx, the weight is 112 pounds. So I couldn't imagine uh, carrying this around without these, without this right here. So this is super good to have. So getting that, you know, it was about well, $50, I think. So getting that, that little handle was totally worth it because I'm not about to be moving around 110 pounds every time it storms. Starter process is pretty easy. He said put this on start which is all the way over there and then move this to fuel there goes some lightning right there turn this to the on position i was already on on as i was the first couple of times he just said pull it really slowly all the way out don't let it snap back he said about several times do that and let's do one more to get the oil in there and then hopefully we'll pull Let's see this ain't want to spark nope well, starting to get something uh oh there we go so off the third pull it started so they said about several minutes or so let it stay on that choke setting. And then once it's off, once it seems like it's running pretty good, slowly go to the start position. There we go, now we're starting to hear it. There it is, it's gonna kick in. Oh. There you go, and it started off, so. I'm gonna start it again. Round two, fight. As I was, see, <laughs> off is actually to that side. So it was actually on the whole time. Hmm. 
the more you know. Let's see if we can get started again. Yeah, so I'm gonna let this run for a little bit. Once you hear that sound again, we're starting to like pick back up. Then I'll cut it off and then I'll bring it actually inside. Ooh, starting to lightning out here. But if you guys like that video, guys, smash that subscribe button. Um, browse through the channel if you haven't already. Like some more of those videos. And as always, always, guys, make life fit. I'm out. Peace. Firing like a kitten now, baby. Ready for the storm.